Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube. <laughs> If you are a beginner, you may want to purchase something that's easy to set up. Yeah, we didn't make this and put it together. We kind of purchased it from Luna's, I think, Home Elegance or something like that. It's at the beginning of the video, so check that out. I thought that we would start by planting things like um, purslane, dill, thyme, some spinach, different lettuce, uh, collards, kale um celery swiss chard mustards you know your leafy greens so if you're new completely to gardening i say let's just start out with just some leafy greens that you like to eat you and your family back to the purchase of the hydroponic system we purchased this like back in 2021 and we waited to put it together until well, kind of like not now. We did put it together, but it wasn't all the way put together. So now it has the water uh, system, a pump included. Thanks to my youngest daughter, she went out and got some things and, and kind of fixed up some stuff. Because this set was leaking. And I really wish I would have put it together when we first got it because I probably would have just sent it back. But considering we waited two years here it is and we have to make shift some things to make sure that is working correctly this is the tubing that it came with so the tubing was pretty good but it did not come with a pump of course and a tub for uh, water collection to be you know pumped back and forth as a reservoir and a holding um reservoir holding space and to pump the new water back so it's just really regenerating the same water back and forth we're trying a couple of different leafy varieties within this hydroponic system that you see here um it has the potential of planting out 84 different plants you can grow in here and if you double it you see is the letter h on these little sponges i like to say it represents the hicks family but i'm sure they didn't think about that when they made these sponges and cut that letter h in there however if you planted two seeds now you've doubled that amount of 84 plants to be grown in one system inside your home or outside your home if you have an outside plug you can simply plug your pump for your water reservoir to your outside outlet. And now this is gonna get direct sunlight from outside while feeding your plants hydroponically. So the 200 flat that I started a few weeks ago, I went and just stole one of the little baby fenugreeks out of it you can see I washed the roots off under the sink. And I brought it in here to the hydroponics and I cut a little slit in the side of the sponge and simply placed that fenugreek plant into that slit. And then I pulled all of the roots through the little carafe that comes with the hydroponic system and set it right back down in there. And you can hear the water flowing um, on this video because the pump was already going. All of the tubes are receiving nutrients that I placed in the water. If you'd like to receive a link to the nutrients that I use for this hydroponic grow system, leave me a comment and I'll send you a link so that you can purchase what's needed to get your plants off to a great start. 
So are you absolutely ready to take your gardening game to the next level with the hydroponic system? Well, that's a question that you have to answer on your own. I would think so because you're watching this video. Look no further because we're showing off ours and I can't wait to see yours. This video just simply um, gave the basics of setting up and maintaining a hydroponic system for beginners. So if you buy a system offline, you know you need a reservoir, tub, or some type of container that you can house the water in and your mix of solution for the nutrients inside of that water. So that becomes your solution that will flow through the hydroponics system. You will also need an outlet close by so that your pump can be plugged up and run appropriately. Now, if you find some leaks in that system, you may want to um, place the whole system into a tub so that the water can collect at the bottom. That way you can simply take that water, pour it back into the reservoir and still be able to use it. So as I said in the beginning, we had to make shift some things and the next plan, because it is still leaking from not only areas that we went and purchased some things to make it convenient for our system that we have for it to reach the reservoir, but it's also leaking from the components that actually came from this system. So do I recommend it? Um, I, I want to say no because of all the leaks. No one wants to spend money to have, you know, leaks. However, a remedy that we're thinking, you see we have tubs placed underneath it now to collect the leaking water, but I'm thinking we're going to purchase one larger tub to sit the system in as you can see how it stands. Please like and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.